right, let me show you what I've got set up here. This is my first time using the solar power in the off-grid workshop. I've just kind of got things crudely set up here so I can test it out. And I want to clean up some pieces of this recycled bed frame so I can do some welding. I've got a couple of four and a half inch grinders set up there. I've got one with a cutoff wheel and one with a flap disc. Got my DIY homemade vise set up outside the workshop and about a 20 foot extension cord there running inside to the Renogy 3000 watt inverter. Currently I just have two 100 watt solar panels set up so they can charge the battery. Let me take you inside. I've got the uh, Renogy 3000 watt inverter slash charger just crudely set up here. I've got a temporary outlet for 120 volts AC power there with my extension cord connected to it. It's running outside. That's what I'm going to be plugging those grinders into as I work on that recycled bed frame in that vise there. And I'll set my camera up so you guys can see my amp meter. And I don't know if you can see it there. I'll try to adjust the brightness so you can read it. And we'll watch it and see how many amps the grinder pulls. Those are seven amp grinders. There's my Renergy 40 amp Rover MPP charge controller. The batteries are actually topped off. 100% on the battery sitting at 13.5 volts. And we'll turn this Renergy 3000 watt charger putting down 119 volts. And I've also have the uh, SFK 280 amp hour LiPo 4 battery and so far it's just a beast. It should be able to supply 100 amps of current, maybe even up to 150 or 200 for a short period of time. I'm not going to be pulling anywhere near that, but that's the uh, battery I've got set up. So after about 10 minutes or so, that's what I got. Just got some little scrap pieces now of angle iron I can use for some weld testing and only used up 2% of that battery capacity, which is really nothing. And in probably 10 minutes to 30 minutes, even in the shade, the solar panels will have that replaced with no problem. Click the video on the screen for more fabrication and welding projects as well as DIY off-grid solar projects. And we'll see you over there.